on today's episode, we are doing some DIY IKEA hacks, but we're doing it with a little bit of a twist. I am in Utah visiting my daughter. Hello. A lot of you guys have been asking about her because I talk about her and you don't really see her because she's college aged. She lives here. And then in the back, we've got Mama Bear. <laughs> That's my mom. And she is going to IKEA for the very first time. So this is going to be really fun. Since I'm not in my regular studio, I don't have my regular things but we're gonna still try to do some ikea hacks and we'll see what we can do so we're gonna go shopping you're gonna come along with us and we are gonna have a lot of fun okay we're here mom are you ready to experience so ikea excited. for the first time you ready to shop sweetie always she's always ready to shop <laughs> Okay, what do you think so far? Where do we go? What do we do? I know, exactly, right? Let's go upstairs to the showroom and then we'll go to the marketplace. I'm so happy to visit my sweet Riley. So glad you're here. <laughs> I love going into Ikeas because sometimes they have their own ones and each individual Ikea has different spaces. <laughs> wait, Riley, wait. She's hiding. Oh, there's glass. Oh. We need to buy it and put it together. Say hi, Papa Bear. Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> He's awkward. He doesn't want to be on camera. <laughs> I've never seen this sofa before. This is really, really nice. Look at it. I haven't seen that before, the Harlanda. They don't have this in Orlando. This is beautiful. I actually really like this sectional. And that pillow is really, really cute too. So my daughter, Riley, loves this couch here. She definitely leans a little bit more contemporary than mom. <laughs> yes, I do. My favorite kind of couch is almost an emerald green velvet with gold legs. Ooh, fun. My mom so wants to check out the sleeper sofas for her oh, sunroom right. so that when Riley comes to visit, she has a place to sleep. Mom, this one right here is really cute. What do you think? Okay, so what I was thinking is they have these little stools here and hopefully they have them in black because I know they do come in black, oh. but I would like to do a hack on this for my daughter and I think it would be really fun. Or something like this one. This is only $24.99 and I feel like we could upgrade this and elevate this a lot. Okay, I do have to say, I feel like this Utah location is a little bit better so far, but we haven't been down to the marketplace. Well, that will be the real judge. <laughs> this is an ad for Red Bull. <laughs> Strawberry apricot really great flavor <laughs> okay mom we're to the kitchen section wow some of these are beautiful back here she's more traditional like me but i do like the gray over here surprisingly yeah this is beautiful wow <laughs> it's super look cute that. girl look how tall these are did you reach it <laughs> Dad's worried about her being able to reach it because she's a little shorty. <laughs> Look at how awesome these are. Isn't that fun with the glass? Isn't that pretty? I just like the gold. Look at all the brass things in there is pretty. I like how they've displayed that. I love that. Like the tile. What do you think of the farm sink over there, Mom? Oh. Do you like that, Mama? It's so beautiful. And it's a really good price compared to some that I've looked at. Yeah, and I think that gold faucet is really pretty. Love the gold faucet. Yeah. Okay, so I was telling my mom that she likes the grid over here. I don't know if you can see that. The grid back there. I was telling her that this kind of traditional looking shaker would be probably better for her house style. I'm thinking you can mix and match and I think that they have designers that will help you with that. But you can do like pantries mom. They've got you can wrap it around your fridge, maybe get some Yeah. It's yeah. Do you like that that outside doesn't look like good mom? It looks great. <laughs> do you like the the checkerboard too? Yeah, look how good this is, Matt. Exactly. Yeah, that's actually almost the layout of your kitchen. Very close, huh? Yeah, I love the tall, um, the, the tall cabinets. Yeah. Like that. And the sink is just beautiful. This I really like. 
Yeah, this is very close to your style of kitchen. I think this is actually kind of cute on the floor too. Okay, so my parents have to jet soon. They have a dinner plans, but they really wanted to check out the marketplace before they head out. So we are gonna head down there and give them a taste of all the fun accessories and the things that we're most likely gonna be hacking. They really trap you in here, don't they? They don't make it easy for you to leave. You will shop every aisle. <laughs> I've been trying to get out for the last star and a half. <laughs> Are you ready for the marketplace, sweetie? Always. Shop till you drop. Oh my word, they do not have this at my location, but how cute is that little bar cart? This whole look is so cute, and I actually think that price is really, really good for this. Too bad I'm not at home because I'm pretty sure I can't get that on an airplane. <laughs> Riley, do you like this? Because I want to do a hack with it. Yes? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. I've been wanting to do a hack on this for a while, so I'm glad she likes it. Say goodbye to mom and dad. Mama and Papa Bear. <laughs> Great trip. They really have a lot of cute like brass and gold items. It must be really hot and trendy right now. <laughs> they don't ever have this in my store and I've always just loved this. What'd you find, Riley? Uh, I'm not quite sure, but I like it. I like pressing this. It's nice. Is it therapeutic? Yes. We're tired, but we can't leave without hitting up the as is. I have dropped. <laughs> She's dropped. She's done. Then off to dinner and maybe Manny Petties. Look at the yellow velvet couch. Yeah, she's tired. Go to sleep. Okay, so my daughter needs a new desk. This is not the right color, but it's in the as is section, so it's super cheap. So I think we're gonna get this and do a quick paint job on it, make it look different and a little bit more high end, and hopefully it will work for her. All right, we're done. Okay, we're gonna head back to my Airbnb. We're gonna work on these and it's gonna be fun. So let's get started with our first one, which is a DIY planter. So all we're gonna do for this is I found this planter in the garden section at Ikea. I knew I wanted to do something with it, but I wasn't quite sure. Sometimes I just grab these things and just go with it. <laughs> I knew I wanted to add some gold somewhere to it. I didn't know where or how, but looking at the planter, I decided it was best to just tape off that top ledge on the planter. There was a natural stop point on it, and so I just took some painter's tape and taped that off on the upper portion, and then I went back in with a plastic bag from our shopping, one of our shopping trips, and taped that around our um, bottom to protect it, because we didn't want to get any paint on it. And then I used my favorite 18 karat gold spray paint, which I just picked up at the store, and I sprayed the edge of the top little ledge, and then I decided to add a little shimmer to the interior part and spray the inside as well so that it would reflect a little bit of light. Let that fully dry, then we removed the bag, we removed the tape, and it's absolutely amazing how this one simple switch really elevated the look of this planter pot. And then I just took two of their ferns that I got at Ikea. One was not enough, so I just actually put two pots right in there, and it is so beautiful. This was a surprise favorite for me, honestly. And then with the addition of the spray painted gold, it just looks so elevated. And then I got this little wooden stand at Hobby Lobby that I placed it on top of it just to elevate it a little bit. And here it is in my Airbnb rental. It looks fantastic. That's it for that simple, very easy Ikea hack. It looks amazing. I loved it and I hope you did too. Next up, I have another extremely simple Ikea hack for you. So I found these candlesticks and then I also found these little, I think they're a low Lotus little tea light holder and I thought the two of them together would look amazing so I picked up a little epoxy kit and I didn't know how to stir it okay so I need some sort of craft stick I didn't pick any up at the craft store so I'm gonna go rummaging to see if there's like a plastic spoon or something in one of the drawers we'll see what we can find okay, put in there. Got nothing <laughs> 
These would look like disposable forks. <gasps> perfect! It's a wood fork, but this end is perfect. So that wooden fork that was meant for eating worked out perfectly to stir my epoxy, wipe it on the ledge of the candlestick, and then you just center the lotus one right on top. It sets up in five minutes. Just you wanna watch it because if you put on a lot of epoxy, sometimes it tends to slide. So just make sure you spend the five minutes watching it dry so that it stays nice and center. You do have a little wiggle room in the first couple of minutes, but after five minutes, it sets up really hard. It's fully cured, I believe in 24 hours. That's it for this one. Then I just took some of these really cool pillar candles because I wanted something a little bit taller. You could use it as a tea light still. These don't fit all the way down into the cup. They actually kind of set on top and I was actually okay with that. I think if you had a table that would bump easily then maybe you would want to reconsider and use like a tea light or something that would sit down in it but I love the look of this and these candles were like a still I think there were five candles in there for $12 varying heights I mean we're talking like Dollar Tree prices for five candles of that kind of substance it was amazing I think it looks really really good I hope that you like this very simple DIY IKEA hack and I hope that you replicate it. Okay, so next up on our shopping trip, we found a desk in the as is section and my daughter really wanted it. She said, I really need a new desk, but it was not the right colors, but the price was right. But this kind of posed a little bit of a challenge for me since I'm on vacation and I don't have my stuff and I was very short on time. What were we gonna do? The first thing I did is I took it outside and I flipped it over, spray painted the underside in a gold. And then I flipped it back up and got the top side of all of the legs in that same gold and let that dry. And then once that was fully dried, the following morning, I had originally bought one paint and found out that it needed a special like thinner. I didn't have it. So I ran to the store. It's 6.30 AM on the day that I am scheduled to leave and I have to get different paint. So I'm running to the Home Depot. It's like 35 degrees outside. <laughs> We're gonna finish this project before I leave. How are these flowers not dying? I am. Okay, now back from the store, I scuffed up the top with a little sanding sponge and then I proceeded to do two coats of black paint in a caviar finish. And I'm gonna tell you right now, this was too rushed. This is not normally how I did it, but I was short on time. I normally wouldn't use this touch up paint kit roller. What I would recommend is either spring if you can. If not, then I would use a foam roller. This one, it just didn't end up working and primarily because it was a bit rushed and maybe the temperature was also a bit cold as well. What I would recommend is is waiting a couple of hours in between each coat and using a good primer as well. I was short on time. My daughter is gonna end up having to add like a third coat to this and she'll do like a light sanding and do that third coat for me. And then you're gonna want it to fully cure for about a week before you put anything on this desk. But overall, I really love the look of the desk. I hope she does too. She's gonna be coming by in just a bit to see what I've done with all of the Ikea hacks. She's at work, she's gonna run over and see it before I take off. I hope she really likes it. So even though the paint finish is not exactly how it should be, I think if you follow the proper steps, don't rush it, it will have an overall wonderful look. And I think she will get it there. She'll do another third coat and sand it down a little bit, but I love this. And it was such a dramatic before and after on this desk. I believe it's the Alexa desk. I love it so much that I think I need a version. <laughs> I don't know where I'd put it, but someday I might do a white and gold version because I think that that would look really smart. And so I hope this gives you some ideas and I hope our little short on time thing teaches you a few lessons. And I love the overall look of this and the idea of it. And with perfect execution, it will look 
really, really nice. Okay, so some of you might be asking yourself, well, why are you in Utah? What's going on there? So it's an interesting thing. We actually flew out west and we started in California and we are doing some family reunions. We had three family reunions in one week's time, but we started out in the East Bay in California area where my husband's originally from. We had a great time there visiting with family. And then we took a trip into San Francisco. We first started out on Lombard Street, which is known as the crookedest road in the world. It's so much fun. My kids had a blast on that. And then we headed out to Fisherman's Wharf. We saw some seals fighting. We had lunch. And then we got on a ferry out to Alcatraz. Okay, we're headed to Alcatraz. <laughs> it's freezing outside. But we're excited. And I don't know if you've been there before, but that's a little spooky. <laughs> we're inside a cell. Bum, bum, bum. But it was really, really fun, really, really interesting piece of history, if you will. And then after that, we headed over the Golden Gate Bridge and then we drove into Napa and had a meal at a Michelin star restaurant. It was so much fun. We packed a lot into a short amount of time there, let me tell you. And then from there, we flew here to Utah for another couple of family reunions and to see my daughter, of course, it was so much fun. And I figured while I was here, I could shoot something with my family and I thought that would be fun. And I have had so much fun so far. Okay, then I found this little simple end table that was $25, it was a fantastic price, but it was pretty basic. And I thought this is a very hackable item. And in fact, it's so hackable that I think that I can do some other stuff coming up in the future, but we'll get to that later. But I wanted to just give it a quick refresh for my daughter. She really loves the black and gold. So you're seeing a theme here. So it started out black. And then what I did is we just assembled it. And then I went about taping it off and I left five inches of the bottom leg exposed. And then I took a couple garbage sacks and taped that around. It was a little <laughs> janky looking, but the idea was is that it just covered and protected the rest of it because we wanted to leave the rest of it black. Then I took it outside and sprayed it in that same gold spray paint that we've been using and did a couple of coats of that, flipped it one direction, then flipped it the other and made sure that everything was really good coverage. And then while we were spray painting that, I also wanted to spray paint the underneath of the tray that sets into this stand. And I spray painted the bottom side of that. And then once that was dried, I flipped that over and spray painted, focusing on the outer ring because that would be exposed. But I had an idea for the interior part. So I didn't worry too much about that getting full coverage in the middle and wasting spray paint on that. I let that fully dry. And then once that was fully dry, I brought it in and I bought some marble looking contact paper from the Dollar Tree. And I just traced out the circle and took some um, utility scissors that I found in their junk drawer here, cut out that circle, and then I peeled back the backing and put that on the inside of the tray. And you just peel it off a little corner and you peel it back as you go. I just used a membership card um, to kind of smooth that out as we went. But inevitably, you will probably, whenever you're using kind of a peel and stick product, you will get some air bubbles and that is normal. Then you just take like a pin or something like that, poke a little tiny hole and you can scrape that air bubble out and it really does dissipate it. Now, with any peel and stick product, it would be almost impossible to get all of them. I just kind of focus on the bigger bubbles with that. Over time, those air bubbles do go away. So don't worry if you have them, um, just focus on the, the bigger ones. Another way you can apply that is by spraying it with a water mist, but we didn't have enough time to properly cure the paint before doing that. So I knew that that would probably miss with some of the paint finish and I didn't want to do that. So overnight though, all those air bubbles did dissipate. Now my daughter has this really cute end table that she can use wherever she wants. So she can put the candlesticks that we made earlier. She could put a planter on it. She could put a lamp on it. There's a lot of different possibilities with that. I hope 
really gets your wheels spinning. And if you would like to see me do a completely different take on this end table, because I've got several ideas on this, let me know in the comment section below and maybe it will come in a future upcoming episode. Now, when we were on our shopping trip, I saw that cool vase and they kind of had a similar idea. I didn't love the floral arrangement that they had in it and we are going to kind of take that idea and expand upon it and do our own floral arrangement as well. But the first thing that I wanted to do was to kind of do like an ombre effect on this vase because it did have like that metallic mirrored silver finish on the top portion, but we had a definite gold and black vibe going on. She also loves white and she has some whites in her room. And so what I thought we could do is just do an ombre effect on the top little quarter section of that spray on a little bit of gold spray paint. But I didn't want the overspray to get onto the clear glass. So what I did is I took a shopping bag and just kind of haphazardly taped it on just to protect that glass portion. Then I took it outside and just sprayed it on the upper portion with no rhyme or reason. It gives a beautiful ombre effect. So some of the overspray does kind of spray down into the silver, but that's okay because that's the look that we're going for. In the end, it was so, so cute. Then the next portion of this was, they had some twinkle lights in there, like fairy lights. And I just got a package of their lights there at Ikea and they are battery operated. And then I put the lights in there, but I left the place, the battery pack where you turn it on and off hanging out for now, just because I wanted to be able to easily turn that on and off without having to like reach into the flower arrangement and all that. Then I went to Michael's and got a couple of floral bunches I got some hydrangeas and then I found a, a mixed floral bunch that had some magnolias in it. And so I proceeded to just kind of put those in together and then intertwine them so it looked more like an arrangement. Very simple, easy to do. Those pre-made bushes kind of make it easier for you because they've already kind of thought about what it would look like as a floral arrangement. The one thing that I did try to do is do kind of like a triangular shape with our magnolias because those were kind of the stars of the show. Okay, so you just tweak the flowers until you like the arrangement. And as you can see, I've gone one, two, three, three with the main show flowers and that looks really good. And then I tucked the little battery pack into the flower arrangement where you couldn't see it, where you can easily turn it on and off. And there you have it, a very, very easy, very simple Ikea hacked base that really has a nice, elegant look. My daughter, I think will love it. I am really excited to show her some of our projects and she's gonna be heading over in a minute, but I really do like this flower arrangement. And I hope that this episode just shows you that you don't need a lot of fancy tools sometimes, even though I like to use my fancy tools. If you watch my channel, you know, I like the power tools. I like the fancy tools, but sometimes you can have high impact with a very little tools, very little effort, and just small little tweaks can make a huge difference. And I hope this episode proves that to you. All right, my daughter's here to kind of see the finished projects. Hey honey, Hi. come on in. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think of the desk? Oh, it's in here. Yeah. Oh, wow. Do you like it? Yes, it's beautiful. I love that. Oh, I'm so glad. I've got lots of fun stuff for you. So I'm so glad that my daughter really loved these Ikea hacks. She's gonna take them home, put them in her room, and I really hope that she enjoys them. I had a lot of fun doing them and seeing her and all of this. And if you enjoyed this episode, here's another one that I think you'll like as well. And to all of my DIY goddesses out there, you are more powerful than you know. We'll see you next time. Bye.